the 6.5 Creedmoor round that has truly become a hunting caliber that many love and just as many hate. Why is that? Well, let's find out. You know, when you look at the 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, there's a tremendous amount of bullets available for it that are designed for a long range uh, steel plates target shooting out there. Uh, there's probably less bullets designed for that cartridge uh, when it comes to hunting. Uh, but there are some really good bullets out there that I advocate using that we've found and used in the field with tremendous success. When it comes to bullet selection, uh, you know, I, I advocate to a lot of people if you've got a rifle and you want to know what it does best, get four or five different boxes, four or five different bullet weights, different companies, and go shoot it. And at the end of the day, I think what you'll find is what your rifle likes the best. And when you do that and you spend the time on the range, number one, it makes you a better shooter and hunter because you understand and you learn what your gun's going to do. You learn which bullet works best in it, which cartridge, uh, and, and all of that. And it's, it, I think that pays off a lot. So those people that hate it, uh, a lot of times, I think probably more often than not, maybe they're even, they're using the wrong bullet. Just like any cartridge, any round, any, anything out there, there are limitations to what you, probably what you want to use it for. Uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor shooting, you know, the right ammo, I think is, is great for a lot of your light, uh, thin-skinned African antelope, white-tailed deer, I think is perfect for it. It's going to be right at the lower end of, of cartridges I would probably pick for elk, but I mean, we've seen it in action on elk hunts before, perform flawlessly, knock them down, but once again, I think it's just kind of right there at that threshold. Uh, you talk to a lot of professional hunters, I mean, they're going to talk about the 6.5 is maybe not good enough for wildebeest and animals like that, but I have seen it, uh, you know, knock down a wildebeest, took a couple shots, but it, it did its job, and wildebeest are notorious for taking multiple rounds in those types of hunting situations. So, you know, you just got to learn and study and make those decisions for you personally, for where you're hunting, for the situations that you're dealing with, and then ultimately, you got to shoot them where it matters. You got to put that bullet where it matters to, to find ultimate success.